Pull the rubber bellow and the center ring with a chamfer inward over the bus bar. Fix the high voltage spring by a cord to the earthing lock. Remove metal dust with a clean cloth. Pull the sleeve carefully over the bus bar. Now pull the second center ring and the rubber bellow over the bus bar. Bring the clamp in position and install the second bus bar. Tighten the clamp. Now bring both bus bars in position by using a spirit level. You can use a clamming set for example. Remove the plastic packaging and clean contact surface carefully with a 3M Scotch Bright Pad. metal dust with ethanol and a clean cloth. Grease the clean contact surface immediately with a thin layer of contact grease P1. Remove the rubber bellow and pull it on the other side. Remove packaging from connector, foil and wooden spacer. Push flexible connector onto the conductor until mechanical stop. Tighten screws by hand. Then tighten the screws crosswise with a torch friend. Pull sleeve over the high voltage connection to its center position. Pull the spring by the cord. First, fix the spring with the M5 screw and washers like shown left screw, then fix the flex also with the M5 screw and the washer like shown, right screw. Tighten screwing with torch wrench according MGC specification. Duresca bus bars have a copper ring for capacitive earthing, C, at one side. 
Each bus bar must be earthed on this copper ring with an earthing clamp. Mostly the capacitive earthing is inside the sleeve and connected there. Clean the copper ring carefully with a 3M scotch Bright pad. Remove metal dust with ethanol and a clean cloth. Grease the clean contact surface immediately with a thin layer of contact grease P1. Install the earthing clamp according to MGC drawing. Tighten it with torch wrench according MGC specification. Now install the earthing lock to the earthing screw of the cylinder housing. Tighten it again with torch wrench according MGC specification. Pull the sleeve over the earthing clamp. Close the sleeve on this side with a rubber bellow and the two hose clamps. Tighten it with torch wrench. Tighten the earthing on the other side of the sleeve. Wait until all other jobs have been done before you open the vacuum packaging. Put the desiccant bags with closed vacuum packaging into the sleeve. After opening the packaging, the sleeve must be closed within 30 minutes. Close the sleeve with a rubber bellow and the two hose clamps, like the other side. Now bring the bus bars in position and install the fastening on this side. Tighten it with torch wrench according MGC specification. Mm -hmm. 